Legion, Season 2, Episode 5, Thoughts. This episode is called Chapter 13. Another episode I love, spoilers for everything X-Men leading up to and including this episode. The episode is rated TVMA, so will this video be. Let's dive right in. So, yeah, um, since the show has a lot of, you know, there's a number of things that happen where we're not entirely sure, you know, did that happen? Did that happen the way we saw it? So I adore that instead of previously on, it says apparently on Legion. And that room is spectacular. So though they're not flying, they are defying gravity. And, and yeah, I mean, I guess the implied threat is that if Lenny does something sufficiently threatening, they're going to push a button you know, change the, the gravity and she's going to fall through what currently appears to be the ceiling, which is glass, and fall onto the street. So that's quite, yeah, that's a very, very unpleasant idea. And Clark didn't have to be the way he is around, like he... This is as much as he could get revenge for all the, the people that she's killed, a number of whom were, were his men, you know, like, taking her blood the way he does. He could easily have just said, okay, this is going to be a tiny prick, there's nothing dangerous here. And, yeah, you know, he holds up a blank card, and she says that it is blank. And then he holds up a card that shows him holding up a card that shows him holding up a card. I love this show so much. And, and you know, we're told that she actually, the first time she was under the influence, she was nine, and it was someone close to her that put her in that circumstance. You know, she didn't have control over the situation. And this is, you know, there are a number of, of addicts where that's how it started. And... I love when the camera goes through the window and then transitions to Oliver and Farouk. And we get the opening credits. <laughs> I like how you know Oliver is kind of struggling and, and eventually Farouk is just, okay, enough of this. You know, I've embarrassed you enough. Let me get the coffin out of there. And I will say that was a great twist i i really thought oh he did get to his actual body but we realized by the end of the episode no this is actually lenny's body and it's it's clever because we you know we see an arm and we're like please don't show me anymore i don't need to see an entire decomposing corpse Let's see and and you know several times lenny has asked whose body is that which, you know, as as Clark puts it, you're a living, bleeding body. And... Let's see. Um, right, I, I quite appreciate the, the detail, you know, and it is absolutely true. We human beings are hardwired to seek patterns. And that's how conspiracies you know, come to be by, by people mistaking coincidence for, or disregarding the fact that some of these things could be coincidence. And I know there are conspiracy theorists right now who would call me a coincidence theorist, which, yeah. What can I say? When I see coincidence, I accept that it's coincidence. And the, let's see, um, I love that for a, a bunch of the, the episode, we really don't know what it is Oliver and Farouk are doing out in the desert. And by the end of the episode, we realize what we're seeing is not the present, it's the past. And, you know, Tonami talks about, you know, perception of present and past and future. You know, yeah, for a while, it's like, what... What are they even doing? You know, okay, so there's there's a donut car, 
People are getting donuts. The car is driving away. Okay, okay, so they're following the car. It had nothing to do with the workers. This was just a stop for the car, so they're waiting so they can follow it. Let's see. And then we learn that apparently Amy dreamt that she was one of the Vermilion. And, you know, this is a recurring dream for her. She dreams of Vermilion and Fukuyama. And yeah, you know the 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 noise from outside of the wind turbine stop. They can't see the guards, and Ben goes to to answer the the door, and you know Farouk, off screen attacks him, and Amy goes to to see. I don't want to be a jerk about it. Ben is looking kind of ashy. And, yeah, just legitimately terrifying reveal that, you know, this entire episode, Lenny is walking around the body of Amy. And she didn't even know herself. So that, of course, raises the question, was this just to see if they could? Or if, if Farouk could? Or was it proving to David that they could? Because they did you know, they could have prevented Lenny in Amy's body, Lenamy, from, you know, getting into the, the hands of one of the divisions. And, you know, by, yeah, by the end we see that for at least some of it, Lenami was traveling, you know, she she's like passed out, you know, over a, a horse that, that takes her in, I guess, the right direction. Bareback horse riding, that's a way to travel. But, yeah, um, I, I legitimately, I did not expect them to, to kill off Amy. She was so important in, in season one. I can imagine this is in part meant as like a raising of the stakes. But yeah, like exactly what it is they want from David and what this does to accomplish that, I'm still not 100% certain of. And I think that might be what I have to say for this episode. So. Let's see. Right, IMDb Trivia points out this is the first time since Brian Singer's original movie that a modern X-Men adaptation uses the words homo superior. Scientific term for mutant in the comic books used. Let's see. And, yeah. Um, someone added the entire thing where the narrator talks about pattern seeking. And let's see. I think that is. Um, oh, right, yeah, we also get a couple of new details about Lenny's past. Arrested 13 times. And, you know, she says one of the things she was arrested for was, you know, the, she posed as a prostitute. I guess she was a prostitute. She said, my pimp, not a guy posing as my pimp. So, yeah, you know, she was a prostitute. The the pimp came up, and they, they got money out of the supposed John. And apparently she did once date a guy for a week. It only lasted a week because if he was going to stab her with something hard... Of course she was going to return the favor.